Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Suhati Kanuk Muhammad. I would like to uh, present my part which is the introduction for this project. Our topic is screen reading. So, what is screen reading? Screen reading is a way of enhancing the environment that will give benefit to humans, the community, the environment and the baby for the night. The baby has recorded this due to awareness of environmental issues such as air pollution, industrial activities, and so on. Regarding to this matter, these effects lead to the formation of heat islands in the city and create what is called urban climate. Two so examples for green building has been chosen for our research purpose. The first one is Tunraza Exchange, uh, or as we call it as TRX. TRX is a new integrated and sustainable high density mixed use developed at the heart of the L. And the system in this building allowing the right amount of sunlight uh, in. The next one is Bayu Lebar Quarter. Bayu Lebar Quarter located at Singapore and at the sustainability which is improve the indoor air quality and healthy environment. That's all for me. Thank you. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nabi Wafi Ayman bin Hazar Risham. So I am going to talk about the case study of our project which we choose two building which is TRX, uh, Tun Raza Exchange and Payo Lebar Quarter in Singapore. Okay, first, we're going to talk about the Tun Raza Exchange, which is a new signature township of 71 acres within the Greater Kuala Lumpur City. TRX has also been awarded while reducing the building's impact on the environment and human. Uh, TRX also were awarded by the accreditation from the Green Building Index and MSC status. High performance insulated glass, energy efficient MEP system with star rating, 100% LED lighting, and the state of the art lift technology, which is the, the features in the TRX exchange. Next, we're going to talk about the Paya Labor Quarter. Paya Labor Quarter is a developing and transforming project that aims to turn Paya Labor into a dynamic, pedestrian friendly new city zone and a dynamic. Regional Corporate Center. Paya Labor knows that a well-performing building will save money in the long run, maximizing property value while also helping to save the environment. Development plans to conserve over 40% of water yearly during operation by implementing high efficiency water fitting as well as monitoring and leak detection system. Uh, Paya Labor Quarter use sustainable furnishing, equipment and mindset in their tenancies in order to save and provide a healthier workplace. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nor Shahida Binti Basunan and today I would like to talk about the methodology under sustainable aspect. The example in Malaysia, we have Tun Raza Exchange. The RX have their own dedicated wastewater management plant. The loop system works to collect rainwater and all wastewater, then recycle it at the plant before returning the water back to their district for non potable use, such as irrigation and toilet flushing. Then the result will be a reduction of over 50% in total potable water demand. Next, Paya Labor Quarter Mom that located in Singapore. This building adopted adopted a biophilic design and integrated into the urban fabric of the development with over 100,000 square feet of green space. It also includes implementing energy and water efficient system and also using sustainable material. The last one, they also planting over 300 percent more trees than previously on site. That's all from me. Thank you. Sustainable building and green building has bring many great effects to the environment. The first one is we can enjoy cleaner environment due to reduction of waste material. This can be achieved during construction phase or maybe proper solid waste management applied in the building. Renewable energy resources such as wind, solar and geothermal are also being used widely in green building specification because it is more friendly in the longer term. 
They also contribute in air and water quality improvement as they do not simply discharge harmful substances into the air and the earth. Sustainable building or green building also promotes better quality lifestyle. For example, they ensure air filtration and natural lighting. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad Afi Bifozan, PF190090. I would like to continue our uh, presentation about conclusion, about green buildings. And first is conclusion. Conclusion is green buildings concept is gaining importance in various countries in whole wide world, including Malaysia, that ensure waste is minimized at process of building design, construction, and usage in order to accomplish the entire range of green buildings objective. In other words, green building is conducive to reduce energy consumption, saving land sources, and water use that can reduce the consumption of soil and water pollution and air pollution to meet the requirement of the times to enhance people's quality of life. Okay, for the recommendation, the first is by applying solar panel on buildings. It probably use higher cost but in long term it will bring many benefits to us. There are three types of solar, that is solar wall, solar heating and solar water heater. And second is government have to provide tax to promote green buildings. Any green building can be rewarded taxpayer who construct a building that meets certain requirement. The amount of tax credit rewarded for green building may be proportional to the size of building. And last is institutional support should be provided in form of standards and quality controls. That's all for us. Thank you.